Hello. This video is a continuation of the previous video, CNC MTX XM42 Initial Parameter Setup. Our machine was reset to default configuration and basic parameters were initialized. So we'll go online with our control. And this time we'll focus on second element of motion part and see file system. This is Unix-like file system residing inside of the control and we can access it only via Interworks Engineering or Operation Software. There are no drive letters in this system. File names are case sensitive. Maximal length of file name is up to 30 characters. First, most important directory in the system is FEPROM. This directory contains templates for system configuration files, special functions, schemas, and so on. It is automatically created and filled by system and located on internal flashcard. Second very important directory is userfab. It is also located on flashcard and contains modified user-specific configuration files. As you can see this directory is empty now because we reset our control. Now I will open our demo machine so you can see how those files are configured on a typical system. So first we go online and then to NC file system. And our FE from directory look the same, but in user fab directory we can see a lot of files. So you can see here Configuration files for diagnostics, Cercos configuration files, and NC variable configuration file. Next, very important directory is user directory with all its subdirectories. So, here in subdirectory user user, part programs and subroutines are located. For NC programs to run smoothly, special link files need to be created, and those are stored in directory user lnk. Next important directory is PLC directory. Here system keeps PLC boot project and PLC configuration files. In directory database, system keeps active tables. So DC1 is a table for D corrections. PM1 is a table for placements. And Z01 is a table of active Z0 coordinates offsets. Please be aware that all files stored on internal flashcard in directories userfab and feprom are marked as read only. So when we try to open and modify a file here, this message shows up. So we can view the file, but no corrections are allowed. We can edit files if they are not stored on feprom memory location. So let's check it. Directory FEPROM, of course, location FEPROM. Directory user fab, also location FEPROM. Now, directory user show us location RAM, and that means we can edit files here. Same with directory PLC, directory CFG and directory macro. Directory database shows in its own location and here you can also open and edit files. 
So let's say we want to modify a channel initialization file, channel 01ini.prg, located in directory f eprom. First, we copy this file into place where we can edit it, for example, directory user user. And then here we open the file and edit it. But we do not return this modified file back to FEPROM directory. We want to keep our templates original. And instead, we copy this new file into directory userfab. Why userfab? Please note how system searches for configuration files during boot up. First, it searches root directory and activates configuration files found here. Once activated, system will not use the file again, even if it exists in other directories. Then system activates files located in user web directory. And then it activates all remaining default configuration files located in directory f eprom. So our file copied here will be activated during boot up and it cannot be edited. During initial setup of the control, system adds to the file system special directory cf user. This is called mount directory and it means external file system included into the MTX file system. It is a user partition on the Complot flashcard, and it has the same function as a network drive under Windows. We can see that so far all files available for our MTX are located inside of the control. But we need to share files and have access to external PCs and their file systems. So there is an editor that allows us to mount directories from outside computers. We need to be online, then configure devices, and then configure mount directories. Our editor opens up, and we can see that one directory is already configured, and it is our CF user directory. Next, we'll configure directory C MNT from my laptop as a second mount directory. So we click on target address, and system automatically gives us a list of available NFS servers. So I can pick an address of my laptop, and system by default sets path and name to this mount point. Next, we activate this new configuration. And then for those changes to take effect, we need to restart control. While the control is restarting, we can see my laptop's main directory, and here's my mount directory. There's also subdirectory, my programs, with some ready files. Going back to our control after reboot, we can see right away our new directory, type network file system NFS, and when we look inside, we can see our subdirectory, my programs, with all files. With older L hardware platform, that was the main way of transferring files into control. With newer XM42 hardware platform, there are two additional ports available. First port XG10 
allows us to insert SD card. And second port, XF30, allows us to connect USB memory stick. So first, I'll close my NC file system window and insert SD card with my files on it. When I open this window again, we can see new directory SG card, and it is a directory type NFS. And when we look inside, we can see all files available. Now we'll do the same, but this time plug USB stick with files on it. And again, new USB directory shows up, and it is also type NFS. And of course, we can see here all files available. There are some small differences in this file system for MTX Micro. So let's open MTX Micro demo project, go online, and then see our file structure. We can see here same basic directories, but there is additional one called prog and containing NC programs. This is a special directory that is always accessible for operator from standard MTX Micro HMI. It is recommended to store here programs that can be selected and modified by operator with limited rights. When we check the properties of this directory, we can see that it is file system type and FS. Please note that this directory is a direct image of dedicated flashcard partition called CF. Going back to our MTX Micro HMI, we can see that the second device accessible by the operator is USB port. And right away after we plug our USB memory stick, we can see program files. Going back to our engineering software, we can refresh our NC file system screen and see new USB directory with all its files. Now pull out a compact flash card from our MTX Micro and check it using card reader. And we can see that there are three partitions on this card. User system and OEM. First we'll open user partition and we can see right away that this is our CF prog directory from NC file system. Next we open OEM partition and this is our CFOEM drive in NC file system. Thank you for your attention.